before I go, and this is pretty unprompted, but and I don't necessarily have a script, but I don't mind working things ad lib. <laughs> but um, my grandpa was, in all sense of the word, brilliant. A brilliant man. I, the fact that we, all five of us grandkids, had so many different passions, so many different undertakings going on, and he was committed to being a part of our lives and getting to know all of us, and be, being able to have a fun conversation, or just never feel like you were alienated in any situation. He was just, he was always there, and I think it just takes him knowing the fact that he was also just somebody who was dedicated in a multitude of things. I, it's just, it's, it's insane to me. It's, it's insane to me how, how, how just, how much of an undertaking he took in anything whenever he felt like he wanted to do something, he just put his whole being into it. And you don't see that amount of dedication in a lot of people, but he did. I just, he was just such an example in so many ways. And I remember um, before we went off to prom, kind of lucky we had a prom in general, um, <laughs> but it was with my friends because the venue was in Cinnamons and I went to BCIT. Um, county school um, and we were there um, one of my friends Sarah also had a lot of Irish and Celtic roots and she was in complete awe at the garden out here and I remember grandpa just having a conversation with her and telling her like the origins and all these sorts of things in regards to like just the intrinsic details about the garden out there and he took his time to just talk and know everybody and I and it was during a time where she was like really really interested in like learning more of her roots and doing that so I think like that just felt like a very educational conversation there I just he's just extraordinary and <sighs> COVID was for a lot of reasons a very difficult time but afterwards we were stronger as a family because of it and literally the last the last thing I did with him was was thrifting off in goodwill and <laughs> messing around with that <laughs> but <laughs> but otherwise I take everything that he's had with me now um, the kilt, the vest, it was with me at Drew, um, for those of you who don't know, I'm in an acapella group on campus, and for, in also for our 36th anniversary, it was on St. Patty's Day, and I had the pleasure of being able to perform and be with our group in such a massive event with so many alumni too, who are also celebrating St. Patty's Day in their kilts and doing this sort of tradition. And I felt just so in touch during that event. It was, it's phenomenal that I get to carry this with him. So, and that's all I have to say. I, I know this was like very out on the limb, but I'm gonna do a little sound check. And then just making sure the volume.